You can call it a command performance. President Obama has summoned BP's chairman to a meeting at the White House on Wednesday. Carl Henrik Svonberg will need to come across a whole lot different than BP's CEO, Tony Hayward. And for a sense of what to expect, here is Allison Stewart Allen with international marketing partners, a firm specializing in European and American business across the Atlantic. She joins us from our London bureau this morning. Allison, uh, a lot of people would say the Tony Hayward strategy thus far, his PR strategy anyway, has been mostly ineffective, if not a failure. What does Carl <laughs> Henrik Svonberg need to do differently to make this meeting with President Obama a success? Well, he needs to demonstrate empathy and he needs to demonstrate that he un actually understands the gravity of the situation in the Gulf region. Uh, and, you know, I think the problem in one sense is that you have two European executives here. You don't have an American local voice that demonstrate they understand the local business culture. So they're going to need to communicate often. Uh, they're going to need to demonstrate some action and they're going to need to make sure that uh, they're actually doing something substantive. Uh, in that region to, um, you know, show goodwill and do well by the customers. Well, Allison, people are expecting there to be decisions made by BP's board perhaps as soon as today. But aside from actually uh, those substantive things that are so critical, how about the manner in which they communicate these things? Well, one of the things that's quite interesting is, you know, here in Europe, the sort of intermittent communication and the sort of silence, I guess, uh, is actually how it how it would work. Uh, whereas in the U.S., you know, silence means nothing's happening. Uh, so we need to hear from people often, and we need to make sure that when we do, that they actually are putting forward something concrete about the specific actions they're taking, and they need to be consultative. You know, why didn't they have possible range of top hat designs on the website for people to comment on, for engineers to put forward ideas to and engage people, uh, rather than in frequent communication. And when it was communication, it wasn't terribly rich. Uh, Allison, what are some of the biggest pitfalls Mr. Svonberg needs to avoid? And can you think of anyone who has uh, stepped in them as of late whom we could uh, bring to mind? Well, um, firstly, uh, let me answer your latter question first. If you think about Mr. Toyota uh, and his comments in front of um, Congress uh, back in March, you know, he clearly did not understand how to connect with the American uh, audiences in a number of ways. He wasn't empathetic. He wasn't concrete. Uh, and the, C the uh, BP executives are going to need to do both those things. The other thing they're going to need to have to understand about American business is it's very transactional. You know, we're not all about having coffee and chit-chatting for a while and getting to know people before we do anything. Uh, they've got to demonstrate action and they have to get on with it and they need to do it pretty quickly. Uh, Allison, how high are the stakes here for Britain? The president, deliberately or not, has made this whole oil spill a quote-unquote British issue. Well, you know, it's interesting this. I mean, clearly David Cameron and uh, the president had a conversation over the weekend uh, and supposedly both agreed that they weren't going to uh, pursue the tack of making this a national or nationalism story. Uh, but it is uh, a risk for British brands that are doing business in America uh, to realize that, you know, there is the possibility of taint. We've got British Airways having some trouble. That's also affecting American consumers. Now we have British petroleum or BP and there is this Allison. risk that people will think that's not good. Allison I'm afraid we've run out of time.